something more wacky into the wardrobe. You know, like, you know, a funky hat. Gimp suit. Or, or a gimp suit. <laughs> throw, throw in a gimp suit. Hello and welcome to Read the Room, the show where we'll be deducing the student from their bedroom. In each round, our panel will be given information about our mystery guest. On today's show, we welcome Mark Twin from Purple Radio's Truth Be Told and Millie and China from Not Ideal Radio. We're going to start with our first round, A Room with a View, where we'll be examining our mystery guest room. Let's take a look. Okay, so there you are. You've seen the bedroom. Guys, what do you think? What do you make of this? We'll start with you, Millie. God, they seem like a traveller. Mm. Oh. There's lots of lots of little tchotchkes. I really enjoyed the shot glass mm -hmm. with the little pair of pants. I thought that was cute. What about you, China? What did you enjoy about the bedroom? I too enjoyed the melange of places. I think there was an... Is that flag from El Salvador? It could have been Germany, though, because I am actually colourblind. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yes, very well-travelled, but I think potentially also of Hispanic heritage. Because I don't know if you caught yeah. that, but that wasn't English. No. No. Unbelievably profound. And um, what about you, Mark? What did you enjoy about the bedroom? Would you go and visit it? I would absolutely, because it's got some of... I like the books. Adam Kay's This Is Going To Hurt. So funny. Uh, I also picked up on, like, yeah, the Latin American stuff within there. Uh, one of the books was about Latin America. Also, I like the cologne. And, you know, he's got the face creams. He takes care of himself. This and he moisturises. Yeah. You like the shirts? Don't forget the shirts. The shirts. Really lovely. Cool. Smart. Crisp. Incredible. You guys have clearly picked up a lot from the bedroom there. And that brings to an end the first round. And we'll move on to our second round, Room for More. Well, we'll be asking our mystery guest housemates some questions to hear a little bit more about them. So please join me in welcoming Alyssa. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for having me on the show. I look forward to answering your questions about my housemate. What college does your housemate go to? Devo. Mm -hmm. The training college. I'm going to write that down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A question about the hockey trophy. Did he steal it? No. Not a thief. So Not have a it. thief. I noticed that everything was meticulously hung up and folded, and even even a little shirt. It had like a little sheet to protect it. Do they? Are they very fashion conscious? I would say so. Yeah. Would you say they're well groomed? So like the, you know the colognes, the skincare. Is it? Does it work? <sighs> It does. I think it does. Yeah, they're quite. They look. They like to look after themselves. Yeah. What did they do as a freshman? Did they ever get up to antics? Is what we need to know. Are Have they... you ever cleaned up their vomit? No, I didn't live with them. Would you say if there's a dichotomy, are they the cleaner upper or mm. the cleaner uppy? They they would help the other person. Yeah. Are they so they're a giver? A kind That's human personal. being. I loved their bedspread. That's not a question. You can just tell them that. Do you spend a lot of time together as a house? Do you eat together? Do you cook together? Mm. Yeah, we do actually. We're very close. Do you have a secret Santa this year? No, we don't. No. But we have a Christmas party, so. Nice. I'll expect our invitations. <laughs> We're friends now. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you've done in secret with them. Oh, this is just as this is too deep. Sometimes I steal China's toothpaste. And I think that's it. Oh, yeah. I'm my no, knickers. I'm, I'm a good housemate. We're like, we have boundaries, we have boundaries. And yeah, good luck with the next round. Well, you guys have clearly learnt a lot about our mystery guest there, but it's time for our final round, the elephant in the room. We're about to welcome a lineup of three people, one of whom is our mystery guest, and it's up to our panel to guess correctly. Is it guest number one? Is it guest number two? Or is it guest number three? God, they all look so happy to be 
Yeah. What are they do? It's the opportunity of a lifetime. To be on Read the Room. That I is. personally yes. think I'm going to have to rule out guest number two. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important to have women in, it, women in heavily male-dominated spaces, mm -hmm. but she's got too much pizzazz for that room. No, she really does. That room was a bit pizzazzless. I can see yeah. the bedspread. I can really see them You mashing. love that bedspread. Yeah. I can't know. get enough of the bedspread. But I did not see any kind of funky knitwear in that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the all. clothes are like a big determinant. I feel like number three's clothes match what we saw in the wardrobe. I'd, I'd say I disagree. I think number one. No. Because yeah. I think there was not a single hoodie in that room, was there? <laughs> I think number one. I'm going to disagree. Hard to disagree. Mm. Who Have looks like they the do other... hockey? Well, I don't know. Why don't they take off their jumpers and then I can see? <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh, that, that was absolutely. <laughs> How dare you? Like, How like, dare you? Like, I think. Uh, is there anything else that we've got that has come up? Uh, um, it was neat and tidy. The traveling. Number one's got a nice tan. Oh, good point. Yeah, true say. And I was gonna say, that mullet looks like it takes some serious upkeep. Uh, right. I think I've come to my conclusion. Yeah, I've come to my conclusion too. I think I'm going to go with my first gut response, which was person number one. I think I have to go with person number one, too. I think it is person number one. What? Wonderful jumper. Mm. We are unanimous. A united front. I feel good about this. Yeah. And now if you want to suggest room for improvement? Truth be told, I actually did hate that bedspread. The more I think about it, the more it hurts. The, the, the got books. a full 180. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a dynamic woman. Do you know what? It feels a little bit like they've Ikea just sort showroom. of IKEA showroom. Like, like if you if you breathe too hard, the walls would fall down. Like, yeah. it's not it's not seeping with like personality. It's kind of just like a band aid on a yeah. Then we wouldn't be yeah. It wouldn't look like that. Like it's like even just a stain or something. You can't have mm. a funny shot glass and then say you're a funny person. I've always said that. Yeah. Always. It's a mantra. That's the official stance of Read the Room. That's the official stance of Read the Room. Yep. Get some more stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we say. And also throw in something more wacky into the wardrobe. You know, like, you know, a funky hat. Gimp suit. Or, or a gimp suit. <laughs> throw, throw in a gimp suit. And our mystery guest is guest number one, Patrick. Whoa! Get it. That's how it's done. AKA Pat. And you know what got me? The fashion. And with that, we've reached the end of the show. Congratulations to our panellists for guessing correctly. It was guest number one, Patrick's Room. Thank you guys for watching Read the Room. This has been Pal TV.